Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Have you ever tried to squeeze in a year's worth of work in one night? Ludicrous speed! Sir, had you better buckle up? Ah, uh, buckle this! Ludicrous speed! Go! So that's what this is about today. I am a huge Elijah Craig fan. I, I They were always my staple for, for the longest period of time as my daily sipper. The more and more I got into them, the more and more I enjoyed them. But I'm stuck on their barrel proof stuff. Big fan of their stuff. So I, what I decided is with the newest batch that came out, B524, I was like, man, this is a fantastic batch. What do I want to do? You know, is it as good or better than the C923? How does it stack up with the A124? So let's drink a year's worth of offerings from Elijah Craig and let's see what we got. So this first glass over here is a little bit of the C923 leftover. You know, this one came in at like 133 proof, 13 years. Whew. My wife's going to have a lot of fun dealing with me tonight. Then the next batch after that was a younger batch. So this one came in at 10 years, 9 months, at 119 proof. So this one was a lot heavier in proof in years. This one came in a bit lighter in proof and then in years. And so people get all upset and up in arms on stuff. But this last one right here, this might be the sweet spot for me. I really like this pour. And the thing I'm going to be doing with all three of these is if you're a Patreon, it doesn't matter if you're a free member up to a $15 member, once a month, beginning of the month when I do my, my six-pack samples, I'm going to be giving away something. This month, it's going to be, you'll get the taste a year's worth of Elijah Craig from the C923 to the B524. And this is the B524, which I really, really enjoyed a lot. And I've actually picked this up for a few different friends because they haven't been able to find them in their area. So this one's coming in at 11 years, 2 months, and 130.6 proof. So these ones are coming in with a lot on there. I'm excited about this. So I'm going to go through each of these. I'll start with the older one first, being the C923. Like I said, it's 13 years plus, and it's 133 proof. So it's coming in 13 years, 7 months, and it's coming in 133 proof right on the nose. Let's see what the difference is between these. Because they all have different age statements. They all have different proof points. And every batch is a little bit different. Let's see which one of the in the last year I've liked the most. And that C923, and I'm telling you, it's got such beautiful color on it. It has that deep burnt orange, a little bit of a reddish brown hue to it. Legs are taking their time to form on that. I mean, beautiful, beautiful color on that thing there. And that has got a deep caramel oaky nose. Not a lot of people lean into the oak. I like oak. I like that juxtaposition from the sweet into the kind of the bitterness, kind of the drying stuff. But this was this was for a lot of people. Oh, this got kind of like a, a chocolate thing going on too. This one was a little bit rough on people. I'm going to check out the A124 now. Let's look at this. Now, this one is more of a... An amber color, I would say that it has some orange and yellow hues to it too. A little bit lighter in color on there. Where this one, those legs are just slowly, slowly forming. The legs on this one are forming a little bit quicker, but they still have some nice legs to it. This one to me is a little more corn forward. I kind of get this like sweet cornbread type of nose off of it. A little bit of a fruitiness going on there too. A little bit of a, almost like a, uh, uh, a pastry kind of note going on in there as well. Where this one smells deep and dark and you can almost smell the oak, like bitterness through it. 
uh, with a little bit of the chocolate. This one right here, it's kind of a, a lighter kind of a nose. It's more of a pastry type of a nose. It, you get some different things going on there. Legs are really starting to form on this now. Both of these are showing great oils on there. But let's get into this this month or this most recent batch. This is the B524. This one right here is kind of like a combination between them both. It's deeper orange. It's got some of those brown hues to it. So the coloring's a little bit different between all three of them, where this is a darker in color, lighter in color, and this one's just right in the middle. Let's get this thing up on the Glen. It, it helps me nose things a little bit better when you've got a nice good coating on the Glen. That beautiful color on there as well. Where this one's more oak forward, has some chocolate notes to it. This one right here is a little bit lighter, kind of a, a fruitier type of a pastry note. This one looks almost like it would have thinner legs. It's just started, the legs started forming a lot faster on this. And this just has a beautiful caramel type of a nose for me. You get some of the vanillas in there, some of the oak. I'm getting some tobacco on here. A little bit of leather going through there as well. So they all present differently. So even though they're coming from the same company, they all present differently on the nose. And just by me, I'm leaning towards that C923 nose because I like that bold, dark intensity that comes with it. But every one of these, that smells very nice. Let's get to the palette on the C923. Man, 133 proof, and it kind of punches you. But I really kind of like that. It's sweet up front, super kind of like drying on the back, so you get a lot of that oak. I've got some more chocolate on the nose, but I'm not really getting on the palate yet on the first sip. Let's get back in here see what we got. Man, first drink of the day is 133 proofer, so you know you better be, you better be ready and dialed in. It almost has like a coffee note. It's so dark on there. What really shines through for me on this, and this, like I said, this isn't going to be a favorite for, not everyone. It's not going to be a favorite for me. For, uh, well, I, favorite for me, but not for everybody, I should say. Is it's got that, that intensity on the back i mean you you get that oak you get some of that bitterness get a little bit of that coffee note tiny bit of that chocolate note on the back you know you get your sugars up front but the finish with this comes with the, those dark things you know so i really like this it's got a nice medium plus to medium long finish on it it's been open for a while it's really really a, a pour that i really enjoy now I'm going to see how these other two stack up. But let's get into the A124. Younger expression, 10 years, 119 proof. It's thinner in color. Um, I'm interested to see how it stacks up versus the C923. What's on the nose follows through with, it, with this on the glass. You get that nice caramel. You get that nice vanilla going on. You kind of get a little bit of a rice spice thing type of thing going on. You get some pastry. You're getting a little bit of fruit on there. It's got a nice mouthfeel. I would say this is about a medium finish. Not as heavy on the finish. Get a little bit of drying on the oak on the back. But this is more sweet and fruity up front as opposed to the C923 which is just dark and, 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 and rough on the back end. And I kind of like that. Let's get back into this A124. Man, this just had a, a real neat note on here, which kind of reminded me a little bit of a Russell's on there. Um, 
So kind of a little bit of a wild turkey type of note going on there, which was pretty neat. But still between the two, I'm leaning at the C923. Now, this five, this B524, this was something that blew me away the other day. And I'm wondering how it stacks up. Because sometimes when you get other pours in front of you, you realize maybe that was just a good pour for the day. And maybe some of this other stuff was just better. But let's see what this B524 has. I almost get like a maple on the nose on this, which is really nice too. There, it's, it's really it almost smells kind of like, um, what is that? Uh, God, I'm trying to think of the name of the bottle I'm thinking of right now. It kind of has a, almost like a Widow Jane decadence type of thing going on. I get such a mapley note off of this one. Oops, sorry about that. Man. Okay. So the B524, best mouthfeel of the group. It just comes in and it's silky smooth. You get some nice sugars on there. I do kind of get that kind of a mapley type of a note thing going on. But then on the back end, you're getting some different spice going on. Almost like a baking spice, some of that oat going on. So it's got some different things where this is just more, this is more on the back of the palate focus. This is kind of more on the front of the palate focus. This seems to be more of a complete pour um, of the three for me. Yeah, I'm digging this five, this B524 is more of the more complete pour. Nice medium plus to medium long finish still going on with it. And some pepper on the back of this too. This starts off fantastic mouthfeel. The nose is a little bit lighter than the C923. And even the A124, I don't like this nose as much. But for the mouthfeel, uh, for the way that the flavors you get, the way that it goes from the front of the palate to the back of the palate, the finish, I'm digging this one the most. But let me go back and write, run these through one more time and see what we got. Yeah, it's just a very good pour for me. Like I said, it seems like most of your actions up front, it kind of almost has this Russell's Wild Turkey type of kind of a vibe to it for some reason, which is different. It's not as, uh, I would say, spicy um, as some of the other Elijah Craig's that I've got. And it could be that it's just a little bit younger. Man, the nose on this, I just love this nose. This is a killer nose. Yeah, this one definitely shines on the back of the palette. So I think for my winner, let me go back this one more time. Golly. I'm going with the B524. I just think that it, it's just overall, it offers more. I think that you're getting the excellent proof out of it. You're getting some nice oak out of it. So you're... You're getting the nice sweetness up front. You're also getting some of that bitterness on the back. You're getting some spice. You're getting a great finish on it. And you get some, some fantastic things that come along with this. I would probably rank these B524, C923, and then A124. I'm not kicking any of them out of my glass. But that's just the way that I would rank them. And I know a lot of people lost their mind with the C923 because of the age statement and the proof fantastic pour there's certain nights that i would gravitate towards this more than other nights when i just want that dark hello i'm here let's, let's talk and let's get down to the nitty-gritty type of stuff but if i'm relaxing and i just want to share a really nice pour with somebody that's going to offer a lot of different things i'm going to lean into this uh, b524 i hope that helped you a little bit but i got to taste a year's worth of Elijah Craig. And now you guys have that opportunity. Make sure that you're part of the Patreon. You know, you don't have to be a paying member for the one month thing that I give away. 
just make sure you're a member of the Patreon. Must be 21, continental U.S., and let's have a good time with it. I love sharing good bourbon, and, and I love you guys as a community. I want to thank you just individually, just to say thank you for all that you have done for Baker Drinks. You know, this is something that Mad at Whiskey Wisdom spearheaded, but, I mean, it's catching fire. I can't wait for the, the kind of a raffle type of thing or giveaway Friday night on Whiskey Wisdom. I think it's going to be outstanding, and I want to thank you all for your support, whether it's financial or emotional. Prayers been lifted up for the bakers, and I absolutely appreciate you all. You know, they they would never have asked for this at all, but Matt kind of maybe brought them out of their comfort zone and said, we're doing this, I want to help you, and, and as a community, we've been awesome to help with that. Look, off time for me right now. Tomorrow's Wednesday. By the time you guys see this, it'll be at lunchtime. If you're a Monday through Friday kind of person like me, you're on the downhill slide for the weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Thursday, I got some special plans with a friend. So Thursday evening, I'll be doing something special. I can't wait to talk to you guys about that. But I'll be doing kind of a, a bachelor, uh, kind of a bachelor party type of thing at a special location with a special thing behind it. And I can't wait to share it with you guys because I think that'll be outstanding. When you get some off time, I hope things just slow it down for you, you know, but when you're, you know, I got to your work part. If you work, I hope your work day goes by fast. I hope you're successful in everything that you do. I hope you bring great energy and they bring it right back to you. But when you get that off time, I hope you have some fantastic moments with your family and friends and take some time for yourself. You can't raise other people's level and you can't take care of other people unless you take care of yourself first. It's the hardest thing to do is a giver. And I know a lot of you guys are givers. Take care of yourself first so you can give it to others. But most importantly, all cheers and God bless. And I got to drink all these. This is going to be fun. Luckily, my wife's making dinner tonight. Oh, man. Looking forward to seeing you guys Friday. And our winner, B524. Y'all have an amazing night.